Morning, folks, this is Fred Campos, DFW website designers, and this is my three business tips at three o'clock in under three minutes. It's wonderful doing these lives every day. I'm getting interesting feedback from multiple a number of people. I'm releasing this on YouTube as well as Twitter and even um, on my own personal Facebook fan page. Somebody was asking me why I do the number three like this. Me and my wife early on when my daughter was young took a uh, uh, American Sign Language. In American Sign Language, this is the number one, this is the number two, and this is the number three. Believe it or not, this is the number eight. It's a little bit trivia, and it's, it seems to have stuck with me. So this is my number for three, or my three, three at three. So very good question for that person that asked me about that. That is why it kind of comes from training things that we learn um, from things that we do early on in life. What I'm doing today is I am talking about business books that have made a difference for me personally, and I'm sharing you three tips from each of these books. We've been doing this for about like uh, a week or so, and we'll continue to do this. I mentioned early on in one of my previous episodes, I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson. Um, he wrote, um, what was the other book I mentioned earlier? Um, he wrote Expert Secrets. Today, we're going to talk about Traffic Secrets. The cliff notes of this book is getting the appropriate traffic to generate new leads for your small business. Hopefully, if you're listening to me, you have a website. If not, you definitely need to talk to me about that. But the website is sort of your business card. But in addition to that, you need to have the right eyeballs in front of that website to generate a lead for you. Hopefully, you have a form they can fill out to get more information or a call to action that maybe has a phone number. So let's talk about this book and what it does, deals with. The first point, which we've mentioned previously when I mentioned his other book, Expert Secrets, is it talks about the 100 ideal clients. He refers to them as your dream 100. Have you written out the ideal clients and get into the demographics of that? But he wants you to focus on that particular client, physical client. In this case, he's talking about writing down 100 clients that you would like to have using your product or services. Number two, he's very specific in this book on how to run pay-per-clicks or how to run Facebook ads or how to run Instagram ads. He does lots of specific examples of how to run those ads appropriately. And then number three, he talks about using other people's email list, like being a uh, saying, hey, can I borrow your list and, and sell a product on your list? One of the great ways to increase your footprint and get traffic back to your website is to use other people's lists. So those are my three tips for you today. Make sure you create your dream 100, do some social media marketing, and consider other people's list. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. Make it an awesome week. Be awesome. Now go back to sleep.